ho ho ha all right everybody now today i'm taking apart uh blue spot yamaha front calipers uh there's a pair of them on the front of my why oh, i can't remember what the name of the bike is now fzs 600 and if you followed along on my other videos i'm trying to make an electric motorbike uh, and it's taken an incredibly long time and quite a lot of money and i haven't even gone nowhere near <laughs> getting electric motors or anything yet but anyway um i bought some blue spot uh calipers off ebay because they're supposed to be pretty good and i thought I was taking them apart. I thought I'll make a video anyway because I'm doing it. It might help somebody out. But anyway, so here it is, Blue Spot Caliper. Uh, I'll be taking this one. Well, I have taken this one apart, so we'll have to go back in time to watch me take this one apart. So let's have a look how I took it apart. Okay, so I've put the caliper back on the bike because that's the best way to hold the caliper. Um, You'd have to take the caliper off first and get the oil out because if you undo these, obviously there's going to be spillage unless you put something on the floor. But anyway, there's the tool. You pop the tool in there like that and you use a 22 mil. You turn that on there so you can see that's a 22 millimeter socket that goes in the end of there or a spanner. Then you pop it in there like that and it should, if I give it a bit of a try and get, keep my hands out of the way, like that, and there we go. It turns as easy as that, look. It shouldn't be too tight, and if it is too tight, somebody has been there before you and done it up too tight. Okay, right, so I've loosened both of these off, so I should be able to turn this just by hand, and it should come out. So let's have a look. There's that one there, that one's out, there look. And you can see it's got an O-ring on the bottom of there to stop the fluid from coming out. Then this one here, see if this comes by hand, yes, and this one does as well. So it's pretty easy. And then this one here should also have a roll ring on the bottom. Right, okay, I just want to stop the video there for a second and say that some people, they don't undo the, the blue part, the blue spot they call it. Um, some people leave them in and they use this tool. I'll, put, I'll pop it on the screen. Some people might use this tool. It's a cheaper tool to use. Um, and sometimes it doesn't work because them pistons are stuck in there pretty hard. So just a disclaimer, uh, you can do it the other way that some people use the other tool, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd take these out, the blue spot things. I'd take them out and I'd try and uh, release the calipers the way I'm going to show you in a minute. Anyway, that's just a disclaimer that because some people will say, oh, you can do it this way without taking them out. And later on in the video, I'll show you that you can buy seals, new O-rings for the, the blue spot insert. So let's carry on with the video. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, this pin out of here and take the old pads out. But first of all, you've got to remove these two clips. There's one on this side and there's one on that side and then that should just push out unless it's seized but uh, this one's pretty good uh, so we'll pop that one out there that comes off there and the pads just fall out like that now you can see inside there now i should be able to push these i don't know how hard it is let's have a look if i can do it by hand if i can move them that's in a pretty tight that one's in it pretty tight, so <laughs> I'm going to find something to push on them and I should be able to get them out. So just to get things going, I've got a piece of foam in there. I don't know if you can see that there. A piece of thick foam. I don't want to damage anything. I'm just going to give this a few light taps just to get it going. And it should, it should, should start making things push through. So if we have a quick look on the other side... You should be able to see now that this is coming out and I'll do the same one to that one as well. And I can actually push this with my thumb now, it's coming out even through with my thumb. So that's, with a little uh, couple of taps, it's freed that up completely. So I should be able to pop that in there, I should be able to push that down like that and it should, it is coming out, yes it is coming out. I'll push it down like that and there we go. That piston has come free. Okay, then there you go. I got both the, I got the large one and the small one out uh, from the top, 
and if you look in there it doesn't look too bad at all it's if you feel the size of of this one for instance you can feel the rubber uh, the rubber seals have started to deteriorate and they're stuck to the side of there so that's what was keeping her in so we're gonna have to put a new uh, rubber seal set in there we'll take the seals out there's i think it should be an outer seal and an inner seal usually a dust seal then the inner one but we'll be replacing them and i think we'll have to replace the o-rings on here as well so with these ones now i'm going to try and draw them out with a tool right okay i don't know how well you can see this but this is the tool here and it goes down in there like that and it goes inside the piston uh, i'll show you on here that goes in there like that see that there that fits in there now if you notice i'll try and i'll try and show you when i tighten this up here this will make that spread out and it'll grip that uh, piston on the inside so when i use the slide hammer like that it should pull the piston out well hopefully so we'll, we'll give it a go i'll pop that in here let me just take this off a minute because it's in the way and i'll i'll start tightening this up like this until it gets tight and it should be gripping that piston now and it is it feels like it's gripping it hopefully <laughs> right so we'll pop this in here then do this up like this like that and then i'll hold this down and i should be able to withdraw the piston and i think i can see it is moving slightly it's a bit noisy i'm sorry about the noise but uh, that is the way it is so i'll try again is that, let me put this on this here so it's not so noisy right okay let's try again then are we beginning anyway i don't think we are <laughs> Right, I'll persevere, I'll keep going. Starting to move now, okay? It's hard for me to hold it and show you at the same time. Let's see if I can get... Can you see it coming up now? So you should be able to see that piston's almost out now, okay? So as it gets closer to the top, you don't want to be put doing it so hard so it shoots up. You want to be doing it a little bit less. So I can sort of hold it. I can't hold it the other way, see? If I hold it this, I'll with that hand and try left hand. There we go. See the piston is out now. Well, I'll do the same with that one. So the big piston took a 25mm tool and the small piston takes a 22 millimeter tool so if you can see there's 22 millimeter written on there and this one it's a bit dirty but that says 25 let's see if it can clean it up a bit 25 millimeters so i'll put the this tool in here now with this on the 25 mil and i'll be popping that in there like that i'll be doing the same again and the small one theoretically should come out slightly easier than the large one because there's less surface area and friction so learn from my mistakes pop that pop the old pad under there like that <laughs> so it doesn't go back in the hole again uh, i'll just pop a little bit of foam on there so it doesn't damage it just tap that down like that that should come out of there and then there we go and then drop that on the floor like that that's not very good is it <laughs> so there we go we got two small ones two big ones and it's completely clear now so all i need to do now is take the seals out and give us a good clean up right okay I've cleaned this uh, piston up here, it's come up pretty well. Uh, people say they're stainless steel, and I think they are. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, 
that's cleaned up pretty well. I'll have to give it a bit more of a clean. You've got to make sure it's perfectly clean. Uh, compared to that one, you can see it's a little dirty and sticky. Um, I've taken a couple of seals out and all I'm using is a small screwdriver. Uh, and first of all, I'm using a pin. I'm just popping the pin in uh, to the seal. It's really difficult for me to show you. Uh, I don't know if I can see. The seal is there and I'm trying to just not, not get the metal, but get the seal and leave it up, but uh, it is quite difficult. I think I need something that's a bit more bent to get in there, but I'm trying to just gently pick the seal out. And then once it's picked out, I can go in then with a the screwdriver. See, I don't know if you can see there, like I've, I've got that with the, the pin and I've popped the, the seal out. I'm just going around doing them all. Right, okay then, here we go. I've taken all the uh, seals out, but unfortunately, I've only been able, to, been able to find two outer seals. And these are the dust seals, these are. Uh, the four main seals, uh, they're all there intact. Um, but sometimes these seals do get caught when the piston's coming out. And they just get caught and snap and fall off, I, I, I assume. Um, because... It's hard for me to show you in here because I haven't got a, a macro camera. But two of the outer seal little channels are quite dirty. I think it's um, this one over here and it's one of these two up here. I think it's this one here. Uh, so I'm going to have to give them a really good clean. But anyway, so I'll have to give this a really good clean inside. Um, I've had this bleed nipple off, so that's okay. This was free. Uh... So I'm going to give it a good clean up, probably give it a paint, uh, new seals, and I think that, and I'll clean up all these pistons as well. Make sure these are nice and, sh if, like if these are damaged, you've got to buy new ones. But I think a whole kit f for the two sets of, because there's two sets of brakes, is about 160 quid altogether. I don't want to be spending that kind of money. So anyway, that is how you take the blue spots apart. This blue spot calipers by taking these off first pushing them through and pulling them out and taking the seals out right okay then so i showed uh taking apart the brake so now i'm gonna put the brake back together i'll spin the camera around and i'll show you all the parts you need to put the brake back together so let's have a look by here now right okay i got the brake all taken apart like i said in the last video it's been cleaned right up now everything's clean inside everything's clean inside there uh we got some uh, rubber grease i think that is we got new brake pads we got all the pistons all cleaned up nice and shiny we got the uh o-rings there's, there's a 28 millimeter o-ring and a 25 millimeter o-ring to go on the backs of these we got a new uh, bleed nipple and cover. We got a new banjo bolt. We got two new copper washers. And then down here, this has been cleaned up. This came with the brake. This is a new part here. This is the sliding pin and the two clips. We got small dust rubbers, two of them. We got the bigger dust rub uh, dust uh, seals. Uh, there's two of them. Then we got the small inner main seals and the two larger um, inner main seals. So all this has got to go in there. <laughs> right, okay then. We'll go for the bottom one because it's the hardest. And we'll go for the big one there. And we'll put a little bit of grease on there, like so. Only a little bit, don't need a lot. Try and go right around like this. It's going to be a bit messy. But um, we'll give it a go anyway, right? Need a bit more on that. I, I was a bit, I was a bit, little bit too uh, skimpy on that bit then. So we'll coat that like that. So that's nice and coated with the grease. And we don't want to put it in dry, do we really? And then we'll pop it down in there like this. And. We'll try and find our way. It's hard to show you. You've just got to believe me that I'm doing it. 
and it's hard for me to see because my head keeps going in the light as well. But um, we'll get there now. Right, okay, I've put all the seals, all the seals are gone in where they're supposed to go. And i got to tell you, it's quite fiddly. I don't know if you can see in there, but all the seals are in there. You only need a tiny bit of the, the grease. Universal rubber grease, it's called. And I've smeared some on the seal, so when I push the pistons in, it should be okay. But you just got to keep putting your fingers in and fiddling them, <laughs> fiddling about, trying to get them in. The bottom, these bottom ones are harder to get in than the top ones. And the, the, the dust seals are easy to get in. But anyway, so now I can put, um, I should be able to put this uh, big one down in there. Or should I push it up that way, I think. Like that's the best way to do it, isn't it? Up in there like that. That should hopefully go through the dust seal, hopefully. If I can get it nice and straight. If I get it straight, it should go in. If I don't, they won't. <laughs> I'll get there now. There we go. That's got past that seal there, and that's past that seal there. Now, I don't want to push them up too far. I want to push them, say, round about. I want a little bit peeking out, look, okay? Just a little bit peeking out. Let me just check everything's okay. The seals look okay. That looks okay. That's in there like that, okay? Then I'll get a small one, and I'll do the same thing with this one. I'll pop that over there. It's trying to get it in straight, it is. Uh, I just want to add this bit in that when I was putting the pistons in, uh, they didn't feel quite greased up enough. Um, I'd already uh, put grease in the balls slightly and I rubbed my finger around it. But I thought, I'll just show you here, I did put a little bit of grease on the pistons themselves. And I put that all the way around, only, only a thin bit, all the way around like that. And then all the way around there, and that it, and that does help the piston go in, and it does feel a lot freer when you put a little bit just around the pistons as well. I just thought I'd add that bit in just in case. Right, okay. So all the pistons are in. Uh, I'm going to put these in now. So I'm going to put another bit. I'm going to get a little, another little bit of rubber grease, and I think I'll pop it on there. Uh, that's a small one, isn't it? I'll pop it on on this seal here, like that. We'll go around there, like that there, and then we'll pop that. This is this is the easy bit. This is that goes on there quite easy, and then we'll pop that in there, like that. And we'll do the same on this one here. A little bit of. Red rubber grease on there, pop that around there like that, lovely, lovely, pop it over there like that, bish bash, and then that goes in there like that. Like I said, we'll do them up tight later on, just do them hand tight for a minute, and then the next step is going to be. Um, I think, what should we do next? Uh, clean my hands up, because it's covered in red grease. I think we'll just, we'll pop this on here to get out the way. Obviously, we've got to put the banjo on later on, but I'll just pop that on here now. Stop things falling inside, like that. And we'll pop the new bleed nipple on, pop it in there like that, and then this goes over there, like so, pop that on there, right, we've got less bits now, so we'll turn it over like this, now I'm going to take my gloves off because I don't want to put any grease on the pads, so I'll take them off there. Right, okay, I've I've pushed these pistons in a little bit more, so just in case when you want to put the disc in, it's a bit more room. I haven't pushed them all the way in because they, they don't, they, ne they never sit all the way in, I don't think. 
But anyway, I put them in that, that far just for enough room. For the, and I'm going to put a little bit of, a uh, tiny bit of, I'm going to put a tiny bit of copper grease on the back of them. And maybe a little bit of that rubber grease down there, I think. I'm not quite sure. No, no, that's what I'm going to do. Tell a lie. I'm going to use a little bit of this Silicon Pro red grease. And I mean a, t a tiny bit now, not, 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 not a massive amount. I'm just going to put a little bit down there. See on there like that, down there. Just a little bit. A little bit on there like that, right? And a little bit on there like that. This is high temperature uh, red racing grease, this is. I'm just going to pop that down there like that. And I'm going to pop a little bit along there. Just like that. Just to keep things moving nice and lovely. Not too much because obviously it'll go on the brakes, won't it? So just pop a little bit on there. And a little bit on there. And maybe I'll pop a little bit on the... I think I'll pop a little tiny bit of... Just a, just a smidgy smoo of copper grease on the back of these. Just so it stops the pads, the pads sticking to the uh, pistons. And I'm not going to go bonkers. Some people like to put loads on. But uh, I like to put a little bit on. Just, just that much. Just... Just that much there, okay? That's all I'm pouring on. I'll do the same on the other one as well. Just a little bit. Because if, if this gets too hot and melts off, it's going to go onto the brakes, you see, so... Just a tiny, tiny bit. Just a thin slither. Then I'm going to pop these in there, like that. One in there. Down there like that. Let's move out of the way. Don't get any grease on the pads. Pop that on down in there if I can get it in there straight, like that. And then that's a bit. Let me just move this part a bit. It's a bit wonky. Right there we go. And I'm going to put this through here. I think I might put a bit of just a little bit of uh, this grease just in these holes here. Just a tiny, just a little bit. Like that. Let's top that season in there. Um, if you need to take them back out again. So I'll pop that in there then. Like that. Let me just lift this brake up slightly so that drops down. Like that. That's because it pops through that one there. And then you can put the spring in. And like I said, it's got a arrow pointing up. So I'm going to put it upwards. Like that, try and push the spring down like that, get that under there, and I gotta go through and get this in the other one. And I'm trying to keep these, I don't know if you can see the holes, I'm trying to keep them upright so I can put the the pins in easier then. Let me just wipe that off there, don't put too much on there. And then you just pop the pins in, one on this side. Let me put that one on first there, that side there, like that. So I can move that back there a bit like that. And then pop that one in there. And there we go. That's the brake done look. And I'll I'll tighten these up, I'll torque these up when I put them back on the bike later. But anyway, that's a fully refurbished uh, caliper with new... I'll, I'll put all the links to the... I'll put the links to the kit I bought for the seals. I'll put the links to the... Um, the O-rings will go on, on here as well uh, so everything will be down in the description of all the kit I bought and the O-rings okay so anyway if you, in, you know, if you enjoyed this video go on give it a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one